What's going on friends? It's your boy Big John from Body Forward. Today I want to talk about something that I've been pissing me off for a very long time. It's when anybody talks about the myth that we only use 10% of our brains. This is completely false. This myth was probably started in the late 1800s when neuroscience was gaining, was gaining some momentum and they started doing experimentations a lot with the brain and there was a lot of theories going around. But at that point there was a lot of theories that were also very wrong. Now, <clears throat> What do we know from science today and what do we know just from literature? Well, we know that even if you do a little bit of damage to the brain, it has, it has crazy effects. It has very negative effects to the brain. Um, the brain is always active. It never shuts off. There's different parts being activated, different emotions elicit different parts of the brain being activated. We see this on, on fMRIs, MRIs. We see this in CAT scans. There's so many different sections of the brain that get activated when, when, when we do certain actions, like I said before, emotions. So the brain is always on. Even when we're sleeping, it's on. The brain is used, it's designed for us to automate our nervous system, our heart, our lungs. Our brain is, is functioning to keep, those, to keep those processes going. When we sleep, how do you think you get dreams? Dreams are based on the fact of of your cortex working with your cortex bombardment. That's part of how dreams work. Your mind is still working and it's on the and it's on and it's part of a fight or flight mechanism. That's how it works. Now <clears throat> what do we also know about the brain? It also needs the most energy. It also needs the most oxygen to function. It's a it, it's a small part of the body, but it's such a crucial part of the body. Now, you think only 10%, if we only use 10%, we would need that much? No. Now, the way I like to think about it, because this is a health and fitness channel, I want to relate it to muscles, okay? If you're, let's say you're, this is how I think of it. And it may not be the greatest analogy, but it's certainly good for this, for this case. Let's say you're lifting weights. Let's say you're doing bicep curls. When you do bicep curls, are you using 100% of the muscle or using only 10% of the muscle? You're using the whole muscle. It's just that what kind of effort are you putting into the muscles? That's it. If you do very lightweight, you're not putting that much effort into the muscle. But if you're doing very heavy weight, you're putting maximal effort into that muscle. But regardless, you're still using 100%. And the same thing is, could be said about the brain. You're using 100% of the brain. It's just that you're not using maximal efficiency and of the brain. For instance, for instance, let's say you want to learn something, right? You're using 100% of whatever you have. The only difference is you're giving your brain more connectivity. You're giving your brain more connectivity and you're strengthening it. Just like the muscle, you lift heavier weight. It, it gets stronger, it gets bigger, it gets stronger, it gets more, more uh, endurance based, it could take on a lot of other physical activities, the same thing with the brain. The more you train the brain, you're still using 100%, it just gets bigger and stronger, that's it. You're able to think better, you're able to process better. As always guys, I hope you don't use that 10% myth shit anymore. As always, it's your boy Big John from Body4, take care. Like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, and go to wwwbody 4com Peace. What a sicko. Shit. I think he needs a girlfriend. I think so. <laughs>